You had to trade, Vinny. What would you trade in non-US market hours? Forex futures or still the main indices? Um, really, for me, whatever's moving in non-US market hours. So I have a, a rule of thumb. Let me show you guys this. If you're in our E-mini main chat, you're gonna look at our sessions, exclamation mark, sessions. And then for the overnight, sessions two or session two. You know about the daytime ones, but after hours, here is here are the things you need to think about if you're going to be trading the non-US market hours, okay? Here's what I say. I do not recommend for new traders to trade the Asian European session US overnight. Now, there's a lot of reasons for that. It tends Target to be a new show. trader usually has a smaller account and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. Again, up to you if you want the risk and yada, yada. My suggestions are don't but if you want to watch it you want to sim it you want to practice it that's fine uh, get good at it but here are some scenarios where you might want to after hours here's the scenarios bank of japan reporting okay that's a red star news event bank of japan in the off hours that's a good one something that gives some extra volatility in Speed the off NQ hours 98. is going to be good for it or any type of macro event market moving news events okay Typically, another thing, uh, volatility is naturally, you know, it comes in the Asian close. So if it's at the close or the European open, okay, there's like a little time window there. That's why I squared those up here at the 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. Eastern time. Um, those opens and closes might be a spot, but in general, do you really want to roll through the whole day? Unless there are, again, market impacting news events where you're going to get that extra volatility because of news. In general, that's my suggestion around dealing with uh, non-US sessions. Press the like button, share, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts and what you'd learn. Watch this next video.